Sister Debbie. Good evening, everybody. I just love to listen to Brian and Brother Ken and Brother Herb. They just, they're, they're so knowledgeable of the Word. They, they study and make themselves approved to come out here and, and tell us about our Lord. Praise God for that. You know, if you do, if you are a Christian in Christ, if you're a Christian and you've accepted the Lord, uh, find your place in His body. You know, there's a work to be done, and He uses His vessels to do that work. So, uh, uh, just find your place in the body of Christ. You'll know you're where you're supposed to be. He'll give you that peace within. Praise God. Thank you, Father. faithful father praise god provided everything we need everything and more praise god everything that we'd have to have and i think first peter tells about that he's given us all things that pertain to godliness pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of jesus christ through knowing him knowing him praise god knowing what's in him knowing what he did gives us, praise God, all things for the taken. All things for the taken. They're not automatically going to fall on you. No. Just like when you sow a seed, the Bible talks about seed, time, and harvest. Said as long as the earth remains. I think that's in Deuteronomy around about chapter 8, somewhere along there. It says, as long as the earth remains... There will be seed time and harvest. There will be a time for planting and a time for harvesting. Praise God. And it, you know what? 
the harvest is just not going to come in by itself. You know, as it is in the natural, it is in the super, or as it is in the supernatural, it is in the natural. Jesus used natural examples and parables to illustrate what's in the supernatural, just how it is. And that's when he said, talked about the parable of the sower. The sower sows the word. And he talked about the kingdom of God as, as, as if a man cast seed into the ground. Sleeps day. I mean, sleeps at night and gets up. Don't know how it grows, but it grows. But then, then when the full corn is in the ear, then Jesus said, he, who's he talking about? The sower. He puts in his sickle and he harvests. He harvests, harvests it. So we sow. It's God who makes it grow. God gives the increase. And then, but we have to harvest it. And Proverbs talks about that a lazy person 